Welcome to a brand new podcast. Once again, this is the Oracle 19, and my name is Greatness. I'd like to thank you guys for your continued support, supporting the machine. We're on all major platforms, which is Anchor FM, Google, iTunes, Apple, Spotify, to just to name a few. Uh, you can shop online to www.evolutionoflondon.com That's a, our baby shopping mall We have a whole wide range of products That's from jewelry, clothing Men's, ladies, kids clothing Art And much, much more So definitely uh, ch- check that out That's www.evolutionoflondon.com Also you can check out www.evolutionoflondon.org Once again that's www.evolutionoflondon.org O-R-G there we have custom clothing, accessories, digital products, such as ebooks, it's personal as well as business. So definitely support that as well. Any business inquiries or sponsorship, you can email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. Again, that's triple that's evolution of London at gmail.com. For any business or sponsorship inquiries. And actually, that's the same email you can actually email us uh, if you want or well, if you want to send us a free will offering through our PayPal account. Same email, triple well, not triple W, but evolution of London at gmail.com. Music by Cheap Limousine. Cheap Limousine channel, which the music you're hearing right now. You can go to his YouTube channel. There he have other social media platforms. And there support him. Like, subscribe, and share. Cheap Limousine channel on YouTube. And speaking about YouTube. Greatness 19. Greatness 19 channel. That's a, our educational channel. We have educational videos to open up the third eye. Definitely something that you would like and enjoy. So support that, like, subscribe, and share as well. And continue on YouTube, we do have a health and wellness channel, which is Mr. Evolution of London. There we have health and wellness videos. So definitely check that out, like, subscribe, and share to that as well. Uh, We have different links, uh, different links to other products that we do have www.linktree.com forward slash evolution of London. That's www.link, L I N K T R E E dot com forward slash evolution of London. And we do have uh, PayPal, uh, uh, not PayPal, excuse me, we do have a Patreon channel. There's so many things that we do have www.patreon.com forward slash evolution of London there we have videos that is not on YouTube and we also have a section in the, on our Patreon channel that we have uh, consulting and other services that we do offer so definitely check, check that out as well Support Mr. Will. He's a fitness consultant for over 15 years. If you want to book a consultation, email him at willysfitness99 at gmail.com. Once again, that's willys, W-I-L-L-Y-Z, fitness99 at gmail.com. And also, you have uh, merchandise. Uh, Definitely support that. www.wjaaccessories. Dot com. Once again, that's www.wjaaccessories.com and definitely support his brand also. We do have a business also that we want to also support. Cousin Vinny's Pizza. Uh, he, lo- he has two locations in London, Ontario, in Canada. 
uh, two locations. Basically, one is downtown London. That's 425 Richmond Street, downtown London. And also his second location is 1599 Adelaide Street North. Uh, he's been established for well over 15 years. A very good spot. Open late for students and everyone. Uh, he does feature London's only authentic Montreal smoke meat sandwiches and he does catering as well so he delivers all throughout the city so definitely support that and definitely you can't go wrong any other information that I haven't mentioned you will find in the description box of the Oracle 19 podcast or Greatness 19 and finally Mr. Evolution of London channel so Anything that I usually have mentioned, I usually put in the description box as well. So definitely like, subscribe, and share to both of those, or all three of those platforms. So definitely, uh, and the ones that are uh, supporting the machine, I definitely appreciate you. Okay, now, well, now we got the business aspect of things out the way. Now let's deal with today's topic. And again, I'm going to give you my perspective. Something I always do every week, as you know. Today we're going to talk about masculine and feminine energy. Masculine and feminine energy. And again, what what do I mean? Now, in this world that we live in, There's a lot of things going on. There's no... Within the genders. It's nothing definitive in my mind. You know what I mean? Men acting like women. Women acting like men. Not even being... Nothing to do with being a homosexual or lesbian. We're just saying just the energy... Many, many years ago, you know, you see old films, you, uh, you check with your grandparents, great-grandparents if you're lucky. There was men being men and women being women. Very straightforward. Here in North America and European nations, especially here in North America, I think we can all agree as far as we start off with the men. Men is being dumbed down. More feminine. In everyday life, men got to cater to women's needs. No matter how... wrong she might be or disrespectful men have to dumb down themselves you hear the saying happy wife happy life something of that nature I disagree personally the man is the nucleus If he's not happy and he has to support the family and he has to put his life on the line for his wife and children, then he should be the nucleus. He should be the focal point. If he has to put his life on the line to protect and serve Make sure his wife and children is okay, especially his wife or girlfriend or significant other or mate, whatever words you want to add to that. Then he should be the nucleus. But in this society, no matter if he puts his life on the line for that woman, She still feels she's superior. 
she's the boss. And society puts her on that pedestal in everyday society. It's different with the elitists, like the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, but we won't get into that part. Because they have a certain standard, certain code, still to this day. But in everyday society, and this, again, my perspective, men is dumbed down. They, they made to be more feminine. They can't talk with a stern voice. They got to talk softly. If the woman is in her feelings, he has to dumb himself down. I say, hell to the no. You know, we all go through what I call the sands of life. You know, I, I, I did a lot of simpish things in my day. And I had to take built big L's, big losses, but not no more. Sometimes you have to wisen up and come to certain conclusions. And see, you see it through our social media. Women is very disrespectful, very manly, very bossy. They even will put their hands on the man. And, and just total disrespect. Just total disrespect. They more manly than the men. And y'all men, that's your fault. Because you have to put your foot down. Now, Many moons ago, women would have got the, the fists of life placed upon them. But see, the rules and laws is different, so I wouldn't suggest you men to do such a thing because guess what? You going to jail. But one thing powerful you can do that you won't go to jail. One thing a man can do, the most powerful thing he can do, and he cannot go to jail. And there's nothing society can do to that man if he's disrespected by his woman walk away walk away and don't bother with her ever ever forever again and there's nothing nobody can do he can put his hands on her he canceled her, charged her to the game, got rid of her, and walked away. Respect is everything. You must, men, maintain your masculine energy. That's your makeup. And the problem is with society... They trying to dumb you down from putting a lot of propaganda on TV, showing the woman is the head. She's disrespectful. She's the boss. She even say it. Nowadays, she even thinks she's stronger than you, especially if you close to her height. She definitely thinks she can take you. That's disrespectful. This is why you must walk away. And the beautiful thing about it, there's abundance of women on this planet Earth for you. 
that is waiting for you, men, that is feminine, and would appreciate you, men, and will get on their knees and praise you, men, physically, I know, personally, get on their knees, I repeat, get on their I have women get on their knees and show gratitude. Facts. You don't have to believe that. That's between me and that woman. That's all good. You don't have to believe it. I just, I know. It is what it is. So, I'm going to maintain my masculine energy because I know my worth and I know what I can get. Because I got it. Had, left it, came back, got something new. It's just the cycles of life. Like a conveyor belt. One woman go, one woman comes to you, another one goes out. If you get what I mean. So it doesn't matter. Women, I'm, let me even clarify more. Women come and go. Women come and go. I had my share and still do. And you men need to maintain that masculine energy and that abundance mindset. I'm not saying I'm Superman and dust and so, but I just know within my circumference and my worth, I can get what I need to get. No problem. Maintain a masculine energy. Another thing, men, is your style of dressing. A lot of you men dressing like women. Blouses, tights, questionable shoes. Questionable socks. It is what it is. You even, some of you even walk like women. Talk like women. Your total disposition is like a woman. Get your weight up. Men. Now, some men is going to be who they are. They are who they are. But there's hope for a lot of you men. Especially you young men. Get your weight up. Get your money right. Because that will put you in a dominant position where a woman can't tell you anything. If you got to live with a woman in her house, you automatically dumbing yourself down. You're not in a dominant position. Shame on you. Little things like this means a lot. Never rely on a woman. Because if you do, she will dumb you down as a man. Less masculine energy. You don't have to conform to the society. That's why, especially you young black men, you don't have to conform. Get your money right, your educational, uh, your educational status, your trade, whatever you need to do to put you in a dominant position. So you don't have to, you can maintain your masculine energy very important little things like this because again unfortunately a lot of men haven't been raised around older men or their father and 
They've been around a lot of women, so they've been dumbed down. And then, of course, the add on what you see on TV and at the job and all around society, dumbed down. You can't say anything to the woman, especially your woman. You can't tell her what you, you, what you expect from her in no shape, form, or fashion. Well, guess what? I'm telling you. And if your woman is not on your program, she's gone. You gone. You leave her alone. There's plenty of women out here. All over this planet Earth, you need to you need to reach out. Don't let no woman dumb you down with her so-called masculine energy. Alpha female. What's that? Alpha female. What's that? What? Where? Who? How? Alpha female. Stand down, woman. You are one man, not a man, a one man. You come from a man. See, nowadays, you got people that don't, they don't know if they men, they men on a Monday, they woman on a Tuesday, they, they some type of freak animal beast on a Wednesday, then they become man on a Thursday. I mean, but you was born a man. I got it. It's disgusting. My personal opinion. That's why it's a lot of confusion. You can be whatever you want to be. But there has to be structure. You know, I mentioned this previously. And the, the animal kingdom have more structure than humans. They, the animal kingdom in this day and time have more structure than humans. Why? Can you answer that for me? Why? Because we don't know if we're coming and going. Masculine energy, men want to be women, women want to be men. And we're not even talking about homosexuality here. That's a whole different topic. I'm not even getting into that. We're just talking about regular so-called heterosexual people. They confuse. Now with the females, your ladies got to get it together. This is why a lot of you women don't have men and never, ever, ever will have a man. Because you don't know how to sit. Example one. You, You sit down in a public place. Your legs is cocked open. Everyone can imagine your future. And maybe smell your past. Who knows? I figured you would get that. Sounds gross, but these females act gross. They sit gross. Public transportation, women got their legs cocked open. Don't, with their tights. And you've seen, I mean, it's just disgusting. They don't know how to sit. You, you want to sit, you, you're thinking you're a truck driver. Are you? Cross your legs. Try that. That's feminine energy. Just learn to cross your legs. Can you do it? Can you do it? Is your legs broke? Try. Concentrate. Wussa. Cross them. It won't hurt you. Try. Women don't even know how to walk. Walk like a bunch of boys. They don't even, there's no grace. 
no style. Very masculine energy. And you looking for a six figure, six foot dude with six packs? And you don't even know how to walk? Why would he want you? For what? You find a lot of this masculine energy in North America, especially. In the third world countries, there are a lot of feminine women there, and they're supposed to be backwards. Go figure. Those women are supposed to be backwards, eating dirt pies, but they know how to be feminine. A lot of them. A lot of them is family oriented. A lot of them. Here in North America, mm -mm. I'm strong, I'm independent, I walk like a truck driver, talk like a truck driver, curse like a sailor, legs cocked open. But you want a, a man that makes a half a million dollars, a million dollars a year, definitely over a hundred K. He's six, from six feet to six foot nine. And he's going to do anything you, you want him to do. A robot. But you don't even know how to sit. Let alone cook. Your definition of cooking was supposed to be more feminine. If you planning to raise a family. Your definition of cooking is putting something, a TV dinner in the microwave. You can't, a lot of these women can't even cook from scratch. But you feminine. This is why men don't want you. And you thinking, oh, that's a badge of honor that you just gonna be alone and you just do what you have to do. Men, you, you let them be. Because in 20 years from today, they're going to be 50, 60 years old. It's going to be a sea of those women, 50, 60 years old, just alone. While you, 40, 50, 60 years old, if you play your cards right, you'll be living your life. Your paper be right. And you can still get a young hottie to rub your belly. 30, 25 if she's 35 and keeping herself in shape, it's still a good look because you're 55, 60. But you're going to always win. These old settlers have no chance because they refuse to be feminine. They'd rather be masculine women truck driver type of women come over here what do I need a heavy voice of a savage you can't have two men in the house nor you should be able to you shouldn't have two women in the house that's why you have man and you have one man the natural art of life. And we should all strive to play our position. Men should be masculine. Women should be feminine. And we should all do our part to be and stay in our lane and be the best we can be. But see, here in North America, they want to cross our minds like they cross breeding animals. Men could dress feminine, they can talk feminine and you know and, and whine, be whiny and everything else, and 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 women could be strong, like Wonder Woman, Xena the Warrior Princess, and do -do -do -do. This is the makeup of society. That's why it's only going, this is information is built for the few, not for the many. So a lot of people, 
pretty much, in my opinion, two-thirds of the population mentally is going to be deaf, dumb, and blind. This is the reality. I don't really worry about majority of people. Majority of people, majority of women is going to hate my guts and totally be against this here in North America. I'm fine with that. And, and I would say even one third of men, even close to two thirds, but I just say one third of men is going to be simps and say, you know, the woman is God. How dare you? You wrong. You wrong. It's okay for a man to be in tune with his feelings. If he wants to cry and be a little whiny and and lean on his woman and be a little feminine, <laughs> feminine. <laughs> I have to laugh. I was choking with that. I know y'all guys want me to choke to death, but no, I'm still around. But pushing on what I, what I wanted to say, a lot of men is, uh, you know, they they very they're gonna be feminine, yeah, no matter, and they're gonna think I'm wrong anyway. Anyway, they're gonna think I'm a heathen, and that's fine. I can deal with that. Maybe it's hope for two-thirds of you men. You'll find a way. And in this day and time, you really have to hone in on your money game. It's sad, though, that you have to really base a lot of your movements on money. But you're in North America... You're in a capitalistic society. And if you want to be in a dominant position, you got to make sure your money is right. Money, money, money. You, yeah, you don't worship it, but you it's very important. You have to be in a position so you can create your own scenario. What, I, what do I mean by this? If you have, it's not about being a millionaire. You know, just being... Comfortable in life where you know you can pay your bills, you live in a great spot, you didn't get help from a woman, you 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 have your own. You create you creating a a environment where when a woman comes into your life, you don't need her for nothing. She just she's an add-on. It's like having an a extra desk. Now, that sounds kind of very harsh, but really, men, I mean, when she comes into your life, you already have things established. You don't need her to help you with the rent. You don't need her to buy you clothes. You don't need her money to put you in a position. You like, she comes in your life. Okay, you know my program. Woman, you can either sink or swim. This is what it is. If you're down, you add it on. If you're not down, kick rocks. Very straightforward. This produces more masculine energy for you. And that woman will see it. And she had two choices. Get in her feminine or walk away. No gray area. See, I had to learn that a lot. Trial and error and making mistakes in life. None of us is per- perfect. You know, it's just, I did very, a lot of degenerate, simpish things. You had to learn. I mean, it is what it is. But you learn and you learn to do better. But I'm telling y'all guys this so you don't even have to go through all of that. You just right there, you can cut to the chase and get it going. But we need this in society. It's only going to be a limited, uh, a few of us that is going to follow this code. Masculine, feminine energy. What say you? Thank you for listening.